How to Stalk 101 Step 1. Acquire a Target A good target is someone you know, but also someone who doesn't know you, at least not personally. To them, you must appear as just another face in the crowd, unmemorable and yet vaguely familiar. This should eliminate any suspicion lurking in the victim's mind as you carry out your mission. Another quality of a good target is someone who doesn't have a lot of friends. They don't have to be a completely friendless loser, but they can't be constantly surrounded by hordes of people. Lastly, make sure that they aren't always at home and that they're involved in other activities so that you can visit their house during the day. <laughs> Step 2. Research Social media sites are a good way to find out information about your victim. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all popular choices, but don't limit yourself to these. Make sure their accounts are detailed enough, and if not, hack your way in. Search the entire internet if you have to. Step 3. Follow them around like a creepy person. Now here comes the fun part. You must find ways to track their every move, whether it means memorizing their schedules, hiding out in hallways, or joining their class in the alias of a foreign exchange student. Just find a way to watch them. All the time. Step 4. Steal all their valuables. Whether it means pickpocketing, breaking into their house, or hiring people to steal things for you, you must find a way to obtain all their personal belongings. Step 5. Build a shrine to them. Collect any stolen items and valuables and place them next to a framed photo of your victim, preferably with two or three candles nearby. Step 6. Become your victim. Step 
five seven rinse and repeat this is for all you people out there who feel discriminated because of your color and members of BKB that can't be here today refugees us in the house I'm here to tell you all about the issues I see when you're a refugee no one respects enough especially if you're tough now it's time to listen and see how bright we listen you forget about the boy on the beach now it's time to teach how one simple action caused a big reaction everyone overboard you guys want to stab us with the sword don't listen to politicians who don't give us the right conditions you live in camps like these or i fall onto our knees you send bombs and isis you made a big crisis you killed those civilians at least a million just a couple people attacked france and at first glance you thought we were all evil just in one, one upheaval you discriminated us and caused a big fuss but it's not like we're all that bad it's actually kind of sad how can you be so mad and want to be comrades some of us have degrees so we have expertise we would be a good addition if you give us all permission to live in your lands where we can stand hand by hand you just don't discriminate let us migrate don't let this escalate we don't want to wait we have families to take care of we need you to make we need to make what you aware of the choices you can make and first you need to intake the fact that we are the same don't give us a nickname tell a few others so we can be brothers let me tell you another thing the things we will bring bring our own culture and some of agriculture It'll take time to adapt I've just wrapped. Now it's your turn. This has been Refugee Jesus. I'm counting on you all to make the right decision. Peace out, crackers.